Welcome back to fans, Lazy Gamer here. Now, I was going to omit this mode because it's not really that necessary anymore. But as I worked on some reshaping and texture work on a room, I realized that I could incorporate it into this. So I will. As I will show you, it might not strictly be needed anymore, but it can to an extent be useful. So let's get started. So, it was when I redid some textures and then reworked the room a little, I realized that I, I, there actually was a use for, um, for it apart from what I originally thought. Now, in the old days, when you fucked up, and accidentally deleted a line, let's say. Um, even when you reconnected, the the sector would not really uh, put, co come back together. Now, it usually does. You might need to uh, realign some few textures and maybe replace a few if that happens. But uh, you don't need the make sector mode anymore. But I realized there is still a use for it, a very useful one. When I created these columns, I deleted the insides so there are a void here, there's a room here, and this is again part of the void. But let's say you wanted to um, put this back into a solid thing you can manipulate. And then you can select make sector. Th this isn't a sector right now, it's void. But if you select the make sector mode and just click inside here, it will become a sector once more. And you can now go in and you will see that it's not a column anymore. You, you will need to drag it down. and apply textures to re-make this. So that's the use of the make sector tool that I can think of right now anyway. I will now go into sector mode and delete this again. So it is as it was, because uh, that's not what I wanted, but as an example, that's what you can do. So this has been your host, the Lazy Gamer, logging off. Bye guys. <laughs>